Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are, back by popular demand. We have another action figure review. This time, we got the wizard! The wizard! If you guys didn't see my last review of the Twisted Tales of Oz, I reviewed all four of those figures. The Tin Man, the Scarecrow, Dorothy, the, Mun the Munchkins, um... The Cowardly Lion, and then Toto was one of my uh, previous reviews that I reviewed separately. Okay, guys, I got this guy in package. He is brand new. He has not been opened up in package. I'm looking for my scissors as right right now as we speak, so I can cut this baby open. So let's get to the cutting. Let's cut it open. All right, here we go. Get that going. Get that going. Get that going. Okay. Cut that. Cut that. Alright, so let's take out this pamphlet right here before we take a look at the wizard. Ooh, something fell out. McFarlane's monster. <laughs> Man, that stuff is strong. Whew. Monsters, McF McFarlane monsters come to life. All right, is this based on a video game? Looks like a video game, huh? Konami, huh? I, okay. All right, here is the Twisted Tale of Oz. You know what? I, I might. Um, I might do a little read-up on the story, man, because I'm really intrigued with these characters, dude. It has a story on all of it, dude. There's the wizard and the scientist, then you have the tin woodman, not the, not the, the not the tin man, but the tin woodman, the lion, the odd-looking monkeys, Toto, Dorothy, so on and so forth. It tells you a little bit of story about them. I mean, you know what? I might do a little story, guys, a little story time. What you guys think? <laughs> Speaking of, I've reviewed every single one of these figures. Here are the only figures that I'm really missing from this wave. is the flying uh, mon monkeys and then the munchkin. But I don't have any of the monkeys. Uh, I guess only available to club members through SpawnStore.com. I'm pretty sure you can find the monkeys online, but I'm pretty sure they're expensive because they are somewhat uh, rare to find. I use that word rare all the time, but... Yeah, they are pretty rare to find because you don't see those flying monkeys for sale too often. All right, let's quit wasting time, guys. We are three minutes into this video. Let's take a look at the base, of course. Um, all the Wizard of Oz, our Twisted Tales of Oz figures, come with this base right here. And, and technically, I don't really have all the bases. I only have two bases out of the four figures. But... Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a take on the Wizard of Oz Yellow Brick Road. Just like a piece of the concrete right there. If you're wondering what year it's from, it is from 2003. Okay, let's take this out of the box. Let's do some clipping here because he does have a few ties on there. They don't look too bad. I could have just untwisted them, but I'm not in a twist, twisty mood. I'm just going to go ahead and snip them out, snip them out, snip them out. Okay, let's take out the wizard. All right, man, the strong, man, the strong smell with this guy. Whew. So there, so which one is the wizard? Is he the wizard or is he the wizard? Is he the one that's programming him? Let's take out the wizard. Oh, got a tie right here that's uh, holding me from taking this cane out. Why would they put a twisty tie 
on the cane so it can break because we know how fragile a lot of these McFarlane figures are. Let's take this guy out right here. And we'll take out some accessories that he has. There was a syringe and this looks like a cutting device, some kind of cutting device. All right, all right, all right. So let's take a look at the wizard first. I'll take a look at his buddy. Man, so many twisty ties, so many, so many pieces of junk, dude, I swear. All right, so here's the wizard looking fabulous, dude. Love how this wizard looks. Love the mouth, the eyes. I love the green. Look at the green, dude. Jade green look. Oh, no. Does this come off? Oh, my gosh. Just when you think. Oh, my gosh. Good thing I found that. I probably would never have found that if I didn't mess around with his head. His head is, is on a swivel, as you guys can see. He's kind of got like a zombie-esque look going on. We'll put back on his cap for the time being. Very interesting. Like it. I love the horns. I don't know what the wizard is all about. He kind of looks like a zombie, half goat, half kind of guy. I don't really know what's going on with him. As far as the detail, the detail is magnificent, dude. I love the green right here. Does this open? Not even going to try. Kind of has like a dead zombie leprechaun look. I like him, dude. I like him a lot. Swivel right there at the arms. Well, just one swivel. Uh, wrist swivel. And then nothing at the knees or ankles. There's his little leprechaun boots. I like him, dude. He is really nice. There's the back. His head is falling off. His mask is falling off. That is just freaking creepy, dude. I like him better without all of that. Put that on there. See if it can stay on there. Okay. Very, very nice, guys. Okay, so let's pop in the wizard. I'm guessing this is the wizard. I Maybe. Because I remember in the movie, there was the fake wizard, right? And then there was the real wizard. So is this the wizard behind the wizard? Right? Being that in the movie, the wizard wasn't the wizard. He was just the guy behind the curtain. So is this the guy behind the curtain and this is the wizard? Or this is, no, this is the guy behind the curtain. This is the wizard. Kind of looks like, it kind of looks like a wizard, doesn't he? Arm articulation, if you're wondering. Up and down, that's all you're going to get. I don't know why he has this thing. <laughs> he, has this, he has this cord attached to his wiener, don't ask me. Um, and yeah. So he does have a syringe right here. I'm guessing it belongs to this guy right here. It has to be. Because he has this green stuff right here that looks like it goes into the syringes. So yeah, I'm guessing the syringe goes with him. This blade must go, I'm thinking it's a blade right here, looks kind of like a blade, I'm guessing it goes into this guy's hands, being that it looks like he's holding, he has like a grip thing going on, so yeah, there's that, so let's peg this guy on here, um, I don't know man, the peg hole, the pegs might, they seem a little bit too big for this guy. Yeah, these pegs, see, these peg holes are not the same, so. Yeah. Yeah. It just looks like one can peg into there, and this guy's going to have to stand next to him. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit, guys, if you're not seeing it. Okay, let's do some uh, let's do some measurements and then we'll do some comparisons and then I'll go ahead and give you my rating and let you know what I think of the wonderful wizard. So let me put his cat back on real quick. <laughs> Dude, this thing is not going to stay on there. Okay. Let me see, is there another thing to this guy? Is there another 
other than the Wizard Series 2. It doesn't say that he's the Wizard. There's the Twisted Land of Oz Series 2. So, yeah, it says it's he's the Wizard, so it contains mature themes. Recommended for ages 15 and over. Chapter Includes Chapter 9 of the Twisted Land of Mythology. Okay, so let's do a little read-up on the wizard. Let's try to peg this guy in here. I know this peg is going to break off. I just got a feeling that it is. Okay, so let's do a measurement of the wizard. So the wizard, without the base, stands at about 7 inches. While he's on the base, he's a little bit over 7 inches. He's at 7 and 1 fourth tall. The little dude right here stands about 3 and a half inches. Okay, guys, so let me give you my rating. What do I make of the wizard? I think he's really nicely detailed. Like a lot of older McFarlane stuff, he is a statue. That's what we expect, you know. But it's a beautiful, detailed statue, man. So if you guys like collecting statues, then this is for you. If you guys are action figure collectors, then this is probably not for you. I'm a little bit of both. I appreciate statue figures, especially in small form, big form. Uh, I do appreciate my action figures as well. So listen, for a nicely sculpted statue piece it's a great looking figure it's a great looking statue man so just basing it on the statue piece alone he looks really really great i love the green fluorescent eyes i love this little guy right here i'm pretty sure they are a couple not in that way not like you think <laughs> you get your minds off the gutters you freaks um but yeah as a two-piece overall i'm gonna give it like a seven and a half it's between like a seven and a half and eight uh, for a nice sculpted statue piece. So really, really awesome looking figure guy. So maybe I can place this guy. Yeah, there we go. I placed the little wizard guy in between the pegs. Being that his pig hole can't fit into the peg, I put it between that. So now he's standing. So let's do some comparisons. So here is the Tin Woodsman with the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Sorry about that, Tin Man. Scarecrow. If you guys want to see these reviews, these were some of my last reviews that I did. You can check them out on my McFarlane, McFarlane re uh, reviews on my playlist. There is Dorothy with the Munchkins. And thanks to my fellow subscribers for giving me a heads up and letting me know what these things were because I did not know what they were. Um, The Cowardly Lion. Or the ravaged lion. That's how they measure up. Uh, he doesn't really stand that great. And then we have Toto. He was a separate review. If you guys want to see him, he's in my McFarlane reviews. Okay, guys. So let me give you my rating. Uh, rating of where he, where I think he fits. Listen, I think the best one from this entire wave would probably be the Tin Man. I really like the Tin Man. The Tin Man is great. Um, so, Tin Man is great. He would be number one, most definitely. Um, I kind of, it's kind of like a three-way tie be between these three figs. The Wizard, the Lion, and then Toto, because I think they both bring something unique and different to the table, and they're both creepy and cool-looking. Um, I mean, I probably, it would probably be a tie between the Wizard and Toto more, and I think the lion would fall into third. Even though the lion is really, 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 really awesome looking, I think these guys would probably tie for second as far as being the best, best uh, figures from this wave. So yeah, they would probably tie for number two. Number three, of course, would probably be Dorothy. Or excuse me, number four would probably be Dorothy, and then last on the list would probably be Scarecrow. Okay, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. What do you guys make of this lineup? What do you guys make of the wizard? Um, I like the wizard. I think he's really, really dope, dude. Um, without these bases, these figures do not freaking stand. Um, but yeah, I think I like this wizard a lot. I like the combination duel right here. He's definitely one of my favorites from this lineup. All right. There's nothing more I can say. If you guys want to leave some comments, like, subscribe, you know, all that great stuff. You know what to do. I'm not on my game right now. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> So there you guys have it. Just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.